Uh, greetings everyone I welcome you again to this YouTube channel uh, I'm also welcoming you to this YouTube video in this video we'll be looking at tariffs we'll be dealing with electricity tariffs so this question is derived from September 2022 Houthing Provis, which is question 2.3 it's only three questions with 12 marks so we are given this uh, tariff table the question says that electricity can be purchased from ESCOM in two ways prepaid and postpaid refer to the comparative table below to answer the question that follow table 4 is a fixed monthly cost against cost per unit so we have two types of systems a prepaid and a postpaid if you look at the prepaid we are having a fixed monthly fee of 200 rands while the postpaid is nothing in terms of a fixed monthly uh, cost then the cost per units uh, for a prepaid is 0 comma 70 85 cents but for a postpaid it is given in a table a tariff table to say that from 0 to 50 units, they will charge you 69 cents. From 50,1 to 350 units, they will charge you 81 cents. And then from 350,1 to 600 units, uh, they are going to charge you 127 cents. And the most important thing is to note that the prices exclude VAT of 15%. It means that all these prices are VAT exclusive. It's very much important to understand that. So the first question, it says that, write down the fixed monthly cost for the prepaid system. So the prepaid system is the first one here. And we have the... A fixed the monthly cost of 200 rands that is the answer you just write 200 then we move to 2.3.2 this one says the Smith household consisting of three people used 349,9 kilowatt per hour of electricity on the postpaid system how much will they be expected to pay in brackets excluding vet for their electricity consumption question mark so we just have to write the units that they have used the first which is 349,9 kilowatt per hour so obviously in this one we're just, we're just going to use this table to calculate the amount they are going to pay so what you need to do if you look at this uh, tariff table we're having block one two and three so what you need to do here to do the calculation correctly is to check where does 349,9 located? In this case, it's located here. It's just below 350. So because it's located in table 2, you go to table 2 and create your own interval. Your interval is now going to be 50,1 to 349,9. Comma nine, you create your own interval. Then from there you calculate the difference. 
you begin with the difference of table number one which is 50 minus one minus zero i mean 50 minus zero is 50 we know that the difference here is 50 so obviously i'm going to take this 50 you multiply with the price of table one the next question not to forget when you calculate the difference when you move to the next step you are no longer going to say 349,9 minus 50,1 we must use the previous 50 we're gonna say 349,9 minus 50 the previous one so I'm not saying the previous difference I'm talking about the previous one in the interval we are not using 350 also because our interval or our interval does not reach a 350 but the family use how much 349 so we cannot use this 350 we have to use 349,9 so let's look at the difference then we're gonna say 349 oh my god 3 What's wrong? 349,9 minus 50. We find that our difference is 299,9. So we're just going to say 299,9. Obviously, we're going to take this 299,9. We multiply with the price of interval number 2. So when you do the calculation here, it's simple. Just going to say... Uh, they say calculate what how much will they pay amount to be paid just say amount is going to be here we're having 50 multiply by 0 0,69 we must add this to what 299,9 multiply by 0,81 we do the calculation if you check we're having these brackets and these brackets we are adding them together so let's begin with the first brackets first brackets 50 multiplied by 0, 0,69 we find that our answer is 34,50 our answer here is going to be 34 rand and 50 cent plus the second bracket. We're going to say 299,9 multiplied by 0, 0,81. Multiply by 0, 0,81. We find that is 400, 242 and 919. So just because we are still doing the calculations, people avoid round, rounding off so we are having 242,919 then the next step obviously is to add is to get the sum of that two numbers we find that the answer here is 277,419 cents so again, because this is money, the final answer must be rounded to two decimal place, which is 277,42. Then we move to the next question, which is 2,2.3.3. 2 it says that Miss Smith worked out that when her daughter goes to university her bill will be two-thirds of the amount calculated in question 2.3.2 verify showing all calculation if her consumption is correct this woman she's claiming that They paid 277,42 because there are three. Don't forget, it's a family of three. So they pay this amount because there are three. So because now in question three, 
Her daughter, she's at university. She's now claiming that she'll pay two-thirds of this amount. Mean that it will be reduced by one person. It will be only her and the husband. So this amount is for three people. So what do we need to do here? We can just calculate to check if this is for three people, how much one person was costing in terms of using the electricity. So we can say that uh, amount per person is going to be this amount, which is 277,42 divided by 3 because we are having three people on that family. So let's do the calculation on that one. Uh, 277,42 divided by 3. So according to her claim, one person was paying 92 rand and 47 one person so amount per two people don't forget the daughter is going to university that family will remain with two people let's look at the amount of two people now amount for two people obviously you just take the amount of a person we multiply it by two to find out how much are they going to pay while they are two which is uh, this amount that we have we multiply it by two we find that two people they are now going to pay 184 comma 95 cents 184 comma 94 95 cent i mean so same apply to the tariffs to the uh, kilowatt i mean let's also check the kilowatt if you look at the kilowatt that this family was using was three was three four nine comma nine while well, there are three so let's look for the tariffs or the units per person. Units per person is going to be three four nine comma nine divided by three. And then we're gonna have three four nine comma nine divided by three we find that a person on that family according to her claim is using these units 116 comma 63 and then units per two people units per two people it's going to be 116 comma 63 multiplied by 2 which will equate to which will equate to 2 3 3 comma 27 kilowatt per hour so now we have this kilowatt well there are two we are going to use this amount so we are going to use the very same kilowatt to calculate the amount that they are going to pay if they use this um, uh, these units because they are now two using the very same table using the very same table so i've already explained how to use that table so it's very much obvious for now we are just going to say amount is equal to 50 multiplied by 0 0.69 close the brackets plus then the difference 
let's calculate the difference of uh, interval number two which is going to be two three three comma twenty seven minus fifty we find that it's one eighty three comma twenty seven one eight three comma twenty seven multiply by zero comma eighty one then from here we do our calculation and because of space i'm just gonna do everything at once i'm gonna have um open the brackets 50 multiply by 0 comma 69 close bracket plus open bracket 183 comma 27 multiply by 0 comma 81 find that my answer is 182 comma 95 the answer is 1 182 comma 95 cents so let's check don't forget we have calculated to find that the two third the two third is this amount right the two third is this amount of 184 but when we do the calculation we actually find this 182 which you can see that 182 is not equal to 184 so therefore we conclude to say that her claim is incorrect it was a claim right verify showing all calculation if her assumption is correct so we're gonna say her assumption is incorrect therefore her assumption is incorrect incorrect her assumption incorrect so we calculated the amount that they will pay. It will be 182,95. And according to our calculation, when we want to check how much are they going to pay if there are two, we find that it's 184. So these answers, they are not the same. So we conclude to say that the uh, assumption is incorrect. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Questions on the comment section, I will attend to them. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.